You also might have noticed if you looked at the uh, country administration tab that we have been in the process of renewing and recreating our mutual protection packs with our allies. Uh, we have recently signed a, a mutual protection pact with Romania and the United Kingdom. Uh, we are in the process of voting on one with Croatia and we will be soon voting on a United States mutual protection pact and a German one as well. Uh, there are a couple other countries, including Spain, that we are looking at different agreements uh, to make sure that we can have as many mutual protection packs uh, that are valuable as possible uh, in case of a direct attack on Canada. Finally, it wouldn't be much of a broadcast for me if we didn't include something about Congress today. Uh, when we look at what's been going on recently, uh, we've seen several different votes come up and several different proposals. I'm happy to say that my proposal to upgrade Health Canada to Quality 5 has passed uh, by a fairly large majority. I do credit Go Farman, the Speaker of the House, and Dean 22 for providing the revised numbers that uh, I think pushed the vote over the top. Uh, so we will be getting Quality 5 health care in Canada soon. Uh, we also have a new Supreme Court. Uh, I nominated Plugson, Dade Pendwin, uh, Halve was renominated as Chief Justice, Bladed Death was renominated as an Associate Justice, and Vincent Chaotic uh, was nominated as well. All of those have passed uh, and they will be taking office shortly. Uh, there is an amendment actually up to vote right now on the Constitution about removing the uh, uh, payment that a justice gets because it is a, a fairly small payment. It, it's a bit trivial. Uh, when it comes to other votes and other happenings going on in Congress right now, there are, is a debate on, on a constitutional amendment over citizenship and over the right of Congress to revoke or deny citizens uh, their right to be citizens of Canada. And uh, there's also a vote on whether or not we should be looking at uh, a different congressional code of conduct that's been recently resolved. Uh, primarily, uh, it's a lot of different votes on uh, a different problems that were uh, addressed by the previous Congress when it came to the congressional code of conduct. Uh, so we should be seeing a bit more when it comes to transparency uh, from the votes that were tallied. Uh, we've also decided to shutter the Ministry of Industries uh, Canada Gifts Company. Uh, it will remain un uh, unoperational, uh, but it won't be sold. So if we do need it in the future, we will be, we'll, we will be able uh, to restart it as needed. To close, the entire reason for this broadcast, which has gone on a lot longer than I thought it would, is to make sure that you have the information to make the smart choices about who is going to be your congressman, who is going to be your president, and how you want your government to be run. Now, under my administration, we have made sure that every major transaction that we've made or every policy decision that we've proposed has gone to Congress, has been debated, and then an informed judgment has been passed based off of that debate. And I think that's something that we've missed in the last... Uh, two, three months under the previous administration. Uh, we're not about secrecy in this government. I'm not a bit particular fan of making it so that only me and five other people have the ability to pass informed judgments. I don't think that's how the government should be run. And while some people might prefer a strong executive, I prefer a more democratic one. And uh, certainly in the last week or so, we've seen a lot of activity on Congress. We've seen a heck of a lot of activity out of, the, activity out of this cabinet. And uh, I think we're going to see more activity out of the Canadian people as well. So uh, I'd like to thank you for watching, especially if you watched all the way through and didn't skip through it. Uh, hopefully you've been informed by this. And uh, I will talk to you again next week. Uh, just so you know, uh, there is a press conference that I will be doing tomorrow, uh, Friday at uh, 2300 EST, so that's 11 o'clock at night. Uh, I will be asking, or sorry, answering questions uh, from anyone who wants to ask, uh, and I will be there for at least an hour, if not a little bit longer. Uh, I'll answer as many questions as I particularly can without giving too much away. So, uh, so long, and uh, have a good week. And now for something from Mofington, who is the uh, Minister of Finance. What do I say? <laughs>
That was our Minister of Finance, Bullfington.